What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays, and I do this show, Fixed Fridays, every Friday. We play a fixed game. If you are interested in Tommy Smacks, and getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me and Reginald. And today we are playing a six-player classic fix game on... Settings for this game are uh, auto setup, 90 second turns, extra day, but we don't have any yet. Fixed cards, balance splits, dice, no filtering of rank, alliances are on, and fog and blizzards are off. Recently made master... With my account, this is Bird Blintz from Bangladesh with 15 wins and 17 losses. 18 hours played. I'm in the sixth position. In position number one, we have Oyut Bileg Tsendiev flying the flag of Mongolia with three hours played, zero ranked wins, and three losses. In position two, we have Golo Goldo from Canada with 46 hours played, 12 wins and 58 losses. In position three, we have Wes the Petite flying the flag of Spain with 35 hours played, 6 wins and 60 losses. Did I catch that right? Yeah. In position four, we have MTA Volieri 3 from the United States of America with 443 hours played and 213 to 998. So this player has played a lot of games. And in position 5, Len Van Houten, 13, from Lebanon, with 370 hours played, 80 wins, and 389 losses. Okay. I am in position 6. I get to wait and see what everyone does, and I can try and put myself in a place where they are not. Currently looks like I have all my troops in Madagascar, East Africa, and Argentina, I'm going to want to be able to get some ability to consolidate these stacks in either SA or Africa. We're playing 90 second turns as a concession. What happened to my video capture? Did you fuck up the camera, Reg? Oh, where did it... I fucked up my shot somehow. I'm going to blame the cats, but it was probably my fault. Um, we're not going to reset this game, so you guys got to watch me yell at the Arctic Ocean for the last however many minutes. Um, we're, we're set to 90 second turns because I was having a whole hell of a lot of time firing a lobby. And it looks like we might be losing a player. West the Petite. <coughs> Have you quit before you've begun? like we see a bot in black where does it go goes in Africa gets a take on no he clocked out his entire turn okay maybe disconnected but he's back now one player goes for the Europe Sure. Do I pull back or do I push forward? I think I pull back. I think I'm going to put two troops here, get my take on Great Britain, put the remaining troop in Madagascar, and just pull back and let these guys sort it out. Either the road opens such that I can leave Africa, or I just sit here with a giant stack. Has to be the way to play with uh, with nine troops already inside of Africa. Yep, red moves in. Ooh, I can do that. Good, I can keep all my troops inside of Africa. And I can open the road for everybody if they would like to leave my continent. They are free to do so. So let's ask Black for an alliance first, because I would need Black to kind of be on board with me taking Africa sooner rather than later. But worst case scenario, they see where I'm going, and hopefully they get some value out of their troops before 
I do so. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to tell him that he can attack me if necessary. But that I'm going to need to get. Hoping that that, that uh, communicates to move the three into the six. We move on to the second turn. It looks like red is going to win in Australia. But it could just be that uh, red versus magenta attrition battle that we love to see. Let's see where magenta goes and what they put in here. Because as you all well know, no Australia, no win, right? Yep, no shock. All right, Magenta gets involved in Africa, which is good for me. This pulls back. Ah, drat. I was going to say it gives me a potential to connect these armies. But I'm doing okay. The big-ass 13. Okay, black doesn't choose to free up their stack in SA. Well, I only have one way to go. Let's see if we can make friends with white. They would be the next player in my sphere of influence that I would like to get out of my way. They're going to move through East Africa and get the hell out. Yep. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good. Okay, I roll on Black's 3. Now they had their chance. Does Red attack 9v8? No, Red gets some value out of their Alaskan position. Give Blue one more chance to get those troops out. Give Black rather. on to the third turn. The pace of a 90 second game is a lot slower. I guess most of these players need a bit of time to contemplate their moves. We can also do a bit of a bigger peat in the corner. My shirt is messing with the filter. What do we do? anything I'm making it worse okay good looks like black is at least going to move into SA but slowly which is fine by me I like that I was able to negotiate with black or so we hope could all go sour if they get a good match and just punch right into me this is hilarious
All right. I'd be fine to see black hit through the three and then reinforce. Let me get my five out. That would be ideal. And then I will have made a friend in the black player. Let's see what they do. I'm going to say attack magenta. No, you want to go the other way. Let my five out. Then I'll give you... Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Now let my five out, sir. Let's see if this guy's good. Yep. And pull his five in, not let my five out. That also makes sense for your fortify. Because he knows I'm going to close the road here. That's fine. I guess I lose five troops, but I have an Africa. Let's see how Red feels about that. Oh no, he doesn't. He does neither fortify, which is dumb and bad. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Well, I don't want to make an enemy of black. So let's see if red wants to be friends. Red has most of their fish to fry over here. Oh, shit. Red wins. Magenta dies, and they won't have very many troops left. Do I have the ability to knock them out up here? Oh, he's saying, I'm going to get a card. You get the hell out of here. That's bold. What happens if Magenta has a card? Then what? I love this Australian pissing contest because it essentially makes the game a four player instead of six. Gonna attack slowly. Do the one point guard in Africa. I have the uh, six match. Let's see who lets me hold. And who doesn't? Purple's hanging out in Asia, no real threat. White is in Northern Europe and Asia. Black, I've just broken from each other. They had the chance to consolidate. I predict black breaks me. Whereas they wanted to let me have Africa, they also kind of expected to have SA by now. Which I would have happily given them if they knew how to take it properly. All they have to do is let me get my troops out. Do I ever want to see these stacks smash into each other? That'll be fun. Magenta either needs to ante up here or get the hell out. My guess is they ante up. Yup. Let's see it. 26 v 25. Oh, baby, hit him. Oh, baby, hit him. Let's see it. Neither of these guys are hitting each other. Oh, it's just like, if you can't have it, then I can't have it. Sort of nonsense. All right, what do you do here? You can hit my five if you want, man. Or you could be smart and let me get my troops out. Put into Peru. Put into Peru. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Yes! Good man! Well played! Alright, so now I got a friend in black. We hope. I'm in no rush to set in. I have the 6th trade. I can hold out for the 10. Hopefully I get an artillery card. Let's put my troops here. Move through Brazil. And give South America to black. That seems like win-win for me. I get the slightly larger continent of Africa. And I get a friendly neighbor on my one border. Also, 
guarding me there for a while. Oh. I like how all that is turning out. Did I get the artillery? I did. So I get the 10 match. And we go to the sixth turn. Purple has made the play. Oh, really? Interesting time to break me. That see, we play we play friendly the whole time and you break now. Strange. Okay. Also, why would you this thing about alliance is why would you break preemptively? Do the thing you're gonna do <laughs> when I don't expect it. Because now I can play around it. He's gonna break me with the four. Cool. No hard feelings. I lose my bonus. You've already given me a bonus. So what's black going to be down to? Black's going to be down to five cards? Or is he going to set in? Black sets in with a ten? Was I too scary? He's going to be holding. Oh, man. Yeah, it breaks me. Okay. Okay. Guess you didn't want to be there. Doesn't take a continent for himself. Cool. So I, I'm guessing that Black didn't see me moving my troops out as a friendly action. Okay, White's going to take Europe. Slowly. Okay, so I'm going to go pop, 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 because I don't want black here at all. They've lost their right to be on that side of me. Ooh, I wish red had won that. Because then I would have thought about killing black. But I think we still will get there. I think purple will do that for me. And then black will be in one position next to me. So let's play that out. Okay, now you're not there anymore. Friends? Okay, black is only here. Black's going to set in. What do they have? Probably a 10, so they'll have like 23 total troops. If they do something dumb like break me, I can set in with my 17 and hopefully kill them. They also now have to deal with purple on their other side. Purple holding the plus 5 of North America is more threatening than my plus 3. I do have 10 troops on purple. But that will quickly dwindle. If not, if North America is not addressed, two players inconsequential in Oz, and White holding a vast swath of Eurasia. My game now all hinges on what Black does. Okay, they set and they get the ten. Do they take SA and hold? Or do they break me or purple? I think they'd take SA and hold, is my guess. Okay. Okay, white finishes. Europe.
Okay, red sets in again. Does red finally ruin their and magenta's game? So we got the four continent game here. White has Europe, purple has North America, black has South America, and I have Africa with the other two players hiding in Oz. I have a three point guard on Africa. And purple gets their first big bonus from holding North Am. Purple now has 44 troops. I'm still in the lead with 50, but it's slight. And it's going to dwindle. Purple rolls. The 3v1 gets the take. That's all they need to do. Purple's in a great position to win this game. And magenta and red keep putting troops in Oz. At some point, you gotta give up. But neither of these guys have. We are going to see one of them smash into the other for sure. Okay. That is good for purple and white. How do I get out of that? I line myself up to kill Black dead. Hoping that they don't set in. It was better that they did it like that. But also they need a card, so. The thing about cards in Fixed is they, they're not worth all that many troops. So Black punched through a 12 stack to get a card. But what, let's say your average set is a 10, which it isn't, but let's say your average set is a 10, then a card is worth 3.3 .3 troops. So if you kill 12 troops to get a card, you're, you're four times negative on that card. All right, please hold five, make it worth my while. No, they don't get to take this turn? They set in. They're going to roll on the other side? Hmm. So I have a couple of options. I'm still going to try and play to win, but I don't have to.
So I'm thinking I add to my stack and sit there and either um, black breaks the other way or they break me or some combination of both. If you were red here, you would think about splitting. Okay, so my two schools of thought in this play are either I put everything here and block black and hope he goes the other way, or I put some here and get my takes. And I think I'm going to try and see if black wants to suicide into me, he can suicide into me. And I think white's going to let me do this because it's in white's best interest to let black fight with me. But it was a tough call, right? Because this is a super risky play now. The risk is that black just suicides into me. And then I go from being essentially tied for second to being the weakest player. I mean, I'm already in third place. Oh, baby, yes. Hit him. Fucking hit him, yes. That's what you want to see. You want to see the strongest players hitting each other. Good beautiful now black you got to get a card right hit purple we'll see we'll see if they hit my 40 all right pink matches in is this the moment they finally kill red i think it could be oh the patience the patience on those guys something else all right do we see 26 v 40 Good. That I will continue to get cards and you will not. Sit there forever. How does white counterattack that situation? Are we just are we all just going to let purple win the game? I like my position in China a lot. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to just get easy takes. In Asia for a while. It looks like nobody's there. I can't believe how long Red and Magenta are letting this Cold War happen. I fully expect one of these guys to smash into the other. So now purple is expanding into Europe. Magenta and red keeping the Cold War going. <laughs> right now it looks like in magenta's favor. Decision hasn't changed for black. Black is locked. It's going to run the clock out. White try and kick purple out of his zone. He does. Doesn't have quite the juice, though. 
This weakens white significantly. Okay, red finally leaves. Gives Australia to magenta. I will absolutely not be doing any work for you. You have to do work for me. If you're willing to smash a 12 stack of mine, you are obviously willing to smash. A 20 stack of purple, right? You want to get a card, you get it on the other side. Magenta takes Australia. All right, so now we have a wild card in red. Red can go anywhere. Let's see what they do. Red has, like, the same amount of troops for fucking black holding uh, SA. Come on, just hit it. Yeah. 30 v 26, do it. No card for you? Aw. Okay, I'm, I'm still in the lead at 73. But that's because purple smashed white. White's really going to want to retake. Does white break purple? Yes. Good. Let's see how bad that war gets. Red is in a position where they can just eat white right now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> or they could do that. I love it. Hey, buddy. Absolutely keeping you locked, Black. If you think you get it, break me more than once. Oh my god. Alright. Well, we saw the stack smash and it worked out for the old Beatman. There are four players left. I'm still locking Black. If you want a card, it's going to cost you to hit a 26 stack. You want a thumbs down me? Fuck you. You broke me. You can fuck right off. They're gonna smack my stack now, I betcha. Just get a card that way, it'll be fine. Yes, I win this game. I kill everybody. GG. Oh, thank you for doing my bidding, you stupid idiot. Oh. Is he going to go all the way around to break Africa? Is he going to go all the way around? I 
I kill everyone and win. Oh, he hits my stack. Nice. Nice. GG. You die. You die first. Yeah, I, you think? Do you think our alliance is over? Black gets fourth, white gets third. Can't believe how this one finished. I don't even know what I did right. At least I didn't do anything wrong. Everyone killed everyone else. Played. The only thing purple fucked up was, yeah, <laughs> red's laughing. <laughs> oh, still manual rolling. Hey, SMG, as soon as you guys can get around to changing the default back to Blitz, that would be great. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and educational and or informative or entertaining defeating uh, three beginners and two intermediates, and we are almost now at a winning record with 16 and 17. I hope you all enjoyed the show. And maybe it was my coaching from the strategic genius behind the Kill Pete strategy that got me to this victory. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.